So I could not find a good Blender escalator model, so I decided to create my own. Escalators are one of those must-have assets like cars and people for representing architectural design. The catch though is that unlike cars and people, each escalator is unique for each project's varying floor-to-floor -floor heights. A procedural model in this case is the best way so the number of steps can easily be adjusted. So here's the process to generate a procedural escalator. You ready for it? Reference, model, array, mirror, duplicate, edit, duplicate, edit, materials, done. Whew. Let's go through this in a little bit more detail now and stay tuned to the end to see how we do a lower poly variant. So we'll be creating the middle bit with the array modifier and we'll have a top and bottom ends. In this manner, uh, no matter how long the escalator needs to be, it will always have the same start and end elements. The links in the description below are provided for purchasing models and they can save you some time and you'll support this channel's work. So let's continue with the first step. First, find good references, images, drawings, close-ups, how it looks in context. Second, align a nice section and uses a base with dimensions in Blender. Third step, start modeling the middle chunk and detail as much as you feel appropriate for your needs. If you're creating a mega shopping center with many, many escalators, you might want to keep the poly count down. We'll model one half and mirror it later. If you're modeling something for a close-up of one or two escalators, then the detail is indeed pretty important. So go crazy to get it to look right always keeping references in mind. Make sure you use accurate dimensions, especially for the height. It will make the job of aligning the steps with the array modifier much easier in the next step. Also, make sure you add a bevel to the edges to soften them up a bit. Use an exact value that we can replicate later for the end elements. If you're happy with what you're seeing, smash that like button, it helps out. And while you're at it, maybe subscribe as well for fresh architecture content. Fourth step, now that you have a nice middle section, start separating objects based on materials. They can be placeholders for now, just so you can keep track of the materials when things get more complex. It's important to know that materials should be the same throughout the process. So add all the extra ones you think you may need now. The array modifier gets quite tricky otherwise. Five, now we're done and we're ready to instantiate the middle bit, which is the procedural bit. Add a mirror modifier, I modeled along the X axis, so the mirror modifier needs to be aligned along the Y axis. Next, add the array modifier. Remember we said it's important to have things vertically exactly in a precise manner. We'll be using a constant offset and input the values that we know we used. In my case, each section, each step is 350 millimeters by 200 millimeters high. Make sure you select merge in the modifier to get continuity along the edges. Six, let's move to the ends. Duplicate the middle section, rename it escalator bot, remove the array modifier, keep the materials as they are, go in edit mode and start adjusting the geometry as per the reference drawings of the escalator. Keep the origin point the same for the end bit as it is for the steps. This is really important. If we move the origin point, then the ends will not match the middle bit. And your people will fall through the cracks and you'll get sued and go to jail. Hey, it does happen in architecture, but it's okay because we deal with many subcontractors who sign responsibilities and guarantees for these things when they actually get built. Back on point. Here the railing gets tricky. Let's model the end bit with the spin tool. Position your cursor somewhere close to the middle, change the resolution and create the spin. Now we have the end bit. We just need to fill the semicircle with the face for the glass. Next, let's create transition point from flat to angled. We'll start with something simple and extrude the edges to match the ends of the middle sections of the escalator. Then use the bevel to soften the edge. The steps are all simple duplicates. Shift D to duplicate the elements and create the ends meeting. Now add a simple plane for the entrance. Add detailing for the end of the rail near the ground and we're done with the bottom end element. Let's repeat the same for the top end. Duplicate the middle section in place and call it escalator top. Remove the array modifier. The process is exactly the same. We keep the origin point in place and we model away. To make sure the model aligns accurately to the middle steps, change the array modifier of the middle element to one and start modeling in the exact same way we did with the bottom end. We're almost done. Time to check out the result. Alt D to duplicate the middle bit, go in the array modifier and select start and end caps. If you kept the origin points the same, voila! You have yourself a procedural escalator. Make it short or as long as you want. 
duplicate it. Make yourself a rounded escalator if you want with a curve modifier. It does exist, put them in buildings, smalls, anywhere. If you want a separate low poly escalator, create a new file, add a plane, add loop cuts, bevel, extrude, remove the extruded ends, change the cycles, render engine, bake your textures. Edit them if you need to make them more seamless. Krita is great for this because it automatically allows you to see how your textures will look tiled. Now go back to your high poly model and destroy it. Not quite, but isolate your selection to your middle step, L to select all the middle steps, Shift H to hide everything else. Select your two end loops, select inverse, X to delete the edges and you've got yourself a nice simple step. Next, unwrap, create your material and assign your textures. I ended up using just the ambient occlusion and normal texture to create the illusion of the detail without the tax on the high poly count. Repeat for the end bits and voila! Again, thanks for watching, smash that like button and subscribe to keep updated on fresh architecture content. If you'd like to support this channel, grab yourself the escalator from the links below in the description. Next, an animated escalator? Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see one. And see you next time.